Good day, YouTube. JD here for the Pagan Perspective. Um, it's that time of year again. It's Thanksgiving, so if you're in the United States of, of America, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're enjoying your time with your family and friends and basically enjoying everybody's company. Uh, this week's topic is coming out of the broom closet with a counselor or, or basically a professional setting. The first thing that comes to my mind is the idea that this person may hold some kind of power over you. And the question the person asked, how is it different from coming out of the broom closet with a loved one family? The thing about that is that family is not going to judge you too severely. In other words, the family member's judgment won't stick to you. It, it's very unlikely that they're judgment will cause issues long-standing issues in a professional setting especially a counselor or a therapist there are reasons why you've come to the point where you are in this situation where you need to see this therapist where you have to rely on this counselor so the idea of coming out of the broom closet to them could affect your goals with them so i think it's important to take into consideration what do you want to accomplish with this person are you willing to, for this relationship with this counselor or therapist to go beyond professional if you understand what i'm saying we're talking about somebody from a professional standpoint you don't get too personal when you're dealing with someone who's a professional now i know what you're thinking you're talking about you're like hey but jd this is this is my counselor. I get personal with them all the time, and I'm saying that's fine. However, I did mention the goals. You have to think about the goals. If you're trying to get approved for some kind of thing, if you want to be vetted, if you wanted to be vetted or seen to be sane or something like that, you don't want to tell them that you cast spells. You don't want to tell them that you are involved in voodoo. You see what I'm saying? They may think that you need more therapy. They may put you on certain types of drugs. Now, if your goals aren't to be cleared for a job or something, then by all means, if you feel like you want to turn the professional relationship into a semi-personal one, then go ahead. Tell them how you feel. Tell them who you worship. Talk about the gods. Explain paganism to them. My advice for doing that, if it, once we move past the goals and the power that this therapist or counselor holds over you, once we move past that, my advice would be to give them what I call the litmus test. And I may have described this before, especially with coming out of the closet for, you know, being gay. I talk about the idea that you need to mention the topic that you want to bring up. So in this case, you want to mention witches, mention witchcraft, talk about a movie or something that came out recently. Halloween isn't that far away from us. It's still in most of our recent memories. Bring up a witch one day bring it up before you before you come out the broom closet bring it up bring it up in one session watch the body language really closely when you bring up this witch stuff you want to see if they lean away from you if they lean away from you um that's a, usually one of the that's usually an indicator that they may not feel too comfortable talking about it look for other indicators don't rely on just that one you want to Look at their face. See if you get any micro expressions. I'll post a link down below that it, that will probably give you um, a little bit more insight on why, what micro expressions are. But I'll I'll touch on them for a short period here. Micro expressions are basically the face giving a true expression on how you on how they feel at the moment. These things are flashes of emotion in their face. Their muscles give you truly what they're thinking for a moment and they disappear. There's six facial expressions that no matter where you go in the world, everybody thinks they mean the same thing. So for example, smile. You can go to the most remote villages in the world and when somebody smiles, they'll say that this person's happy, that this person likes this behavior, so on and so forth. So the cool thing about micro expressions are they're universal. Now, something that people don't understand. So micro expressions, you're not walking down the street and being like, oh, micro expression. You can't see them. They happen so quickly that you're only processing these unconsciously. If you keep a keen eye and you don't blink, you might see micro expressions on their face. The ones you want to be very wary of are disgust 
anger, hatred, those are very big signs that you probably want to sh steer clear of uh, telling them that you're a witch or you're engaging in any kind of pagan practice. They may not like that. Also, look around the person's office. You know, do you see strong themes of Christianity throughout their office? In some cases, not all, but in some cases, some Christians are very anti-pagan. Anything. They are quick to call, call, you know, pagan gods the devil. So I would say do a really good job of looking around their office. Look on their person. Are they wearing a cross? Things like that could give you data that you can make a better choice on you may not want to reveal to them that you are a pagan if they are super christian if there's bible strewn throughout the office that's probably a sign that they won't take it too well but still go ahead and give them that litmus test as i call it look from their face look at their body see if they move see if they distance themselves see if they change the subject um when you bring up witches don't go too crazy and bring up witches don't bring up three or four topics about wishes back to back and bring up one maybe two and see how they take it and if you get positive results if they don't distance themselves from you if they don't lean away if they, if they don't give any negative uh, facial expressions you can then upon your next session if you see them again don't do it the same day but the next one now you now you can go in with confidence if you feel like they gave you good signs you can tell them that you're a witch tell them that you practice voodoo what have you and you would probably be better off doing it that way i would do it that way i wouldn't just come out and tell them without any information that's just about all i have this week thank you so much for listening to this video and I will see you. All, I will see all you guys right back here next month in December because next week's is subs week. Thanks again, and blessed be.